Hello ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming on time to our webinars. My name is PK So from GPS Alliance and together with me here today is Miss Esther Wee from B&E Group. Now, as land property owners yourself, you probably are concerned with things that are invisible to you. Now, for that, I'm referring to things like, for example, uh, DIP, SIP, uh, IC, which is Inspection Chambers, and Manfolds. Now, all these terms sound like technical jargon to you, and that is why we have invited Esther here today to tell us a little bit more about these items and how do they actually affect your property. So without further ado, let's invite Esther to tell us more. Thank you, Vicky. Um, today we will touch on um, what is the SIP and TIP drawings. Okay, what is the reason that we have to purchase this drawing is it actually affects the selling price and the purchase price of the property and in terms indirectly affect the expansion of a unit. Okay, the reason, okay, for example, um, if let's say you are interested in a unit and uh, you need to build a swimming pool on top of the um, sewer line and you need to know whether where the sewage actually runs across the unit and it actually affects the cost of extension. Okay. In order to know that how the sewage runs, we need to purchase SIP. SIP is a, a sewage interpretation plan and indicates the locations and alignment of the public sewers or manual of the surrounding development. Drainage uh, interpretation plan is as well important as it shows how the drainage of PUB run across the houses and it affects the extension whether we are we supposed to protect the PUB drainage or are we supposed to build across the, drain, uh, the drainage of PUB. Okay, one of the examples are SRP and DRP drawings as you can see here. The black line shows clearly how the sewage run across the estate and a circle Black circle indicates manhole. Okay, if so coincident that the manhole appear at the, S the property, and it actually um, shows that uh, two manholes uh, serve the public, the environment, and it actually affects the extension. There's no way that a building can extend over a manhole, so eventually it will cause the price of the property to fall um, slightly down. Blue lines indicate unsurveyed um, sewage. So sometimes from surface, you can't even see whether uh, is that a manual or IC. All these lines that appear in SIP are all those that is very underground. And with this plan, then the planner or the architect or the builder can actually eventually propose what kind of unit and then that area of extension. Okay, well, you'll be curious where can we actually purchase these drawings. These drawings can anybody can actually purchase from NEA and it costs twenty dollar per plan. Okay, after you we be interested in SIP, the next round we are more concerned of a property is IC. IC are inspection chambers that serve house drainage and silver pipeline. Typically, um, every house with IC, and IC is um, the sewage that um, serve within the internal of that plot. So, in other words, every unit will have an IC. Okay, some examples of how the IC looks like. Um, typical di dimension of IC is about 650 by 500 and usually you can find it at the wet kitchen or at the backyard. Now, IC, another question may be consumer or maybe a uh, purchaser may be interested. What if the IC actually falls within the um, bedroom? within the dry kitchen. Can the IC be relocated? Yes, you can. But however, the cost of shifting is up at 5,000 and 10,000 depending on site condition. So ultimately, in other words, if an IC is found within the unit, within the uh, internal of the building, it's not an issue at all as IC can easily be relocated uh, to the external area. Now, other than IC, another technical term is manhole. Okay, unfortunately, manholes uh, we cannot relocate and there's no way that a building can actually extend across the manhole. Okay, why is it so? Manholes are underground chambers. It's a ch human chambers whereby, you know, for maintenance, for man entry and access to maintain the utility pipeline. Okay, if you happen to see a manhole in the unit, it usually spells trouble. And doesn't mean that the manhole is actually round. Sometimes manhole may appear to be you know, square, 
Okay, what is the difference between a square manhole and a circle manhole? As you can see from the chart, uh, from the pictures, square manhole are uh, usually indicate silver line that is 2.5 meter deep. All right, so that will actually affect whether can a building um, go for further excavation. Okay, for a round manhole, it indicates that the silver line is more than 2.5 meters. So, in, unfortunately, you have happened to have this manhole in your unit. Okay, if that is a, a, a need to actually um, do an extension, you may need to have a trench to protect the uh, silver line. Okay, manholes cannot be covered up and any development must be set back at least 1.5 meters away from the middle of the manhole. Okay, can manhole be shifted? Yes, but only the last man, the first manhole in the series, we can actually shift and it has to be shifted within the, our own compound, maximum 1 meter away from boundary line. And the cost of shifting is much more expensive than the IC, it costs about 25,000 upwards. Okay, one of the examples, as you can see in the SIP, the round circle indicates existing manhole. Okay. As this is a fast manhole, so we can actually propose to MEA to relocate the manhole to a further dark location, but it has to be one meter away from the black boundary line. Now, what are the implications of silver line, IC and manhole? Okay. Usually, it will affect um, a few percentage of the selling price. It incur as it will incur definitely incur a construction cost, increase in construction cost, and indirectly it will affect the selling price. And usually, uh, these are more concerned you know for older properties whereby we want to go for further extension. And if there is a silver line, then definitely you, there will be need to construct an RC trench to protect the silver line and all these will in definitely increase the construction cost. Another issue to, to take note is okay, in, a, in terms of chokage, POV will actually come to our unit for maintenance. So when there is a manhole or a, a, a silver line within your unit, you know, some, that shows that you that is um, uh, necessary for POV to access in for their maintenance indirectly will cause inconvenience. So all this will actually affect you know, the, the, the condition, the, the, technic, the technical terms to look into it before purchase the property. Yeah, thank you very much Esther for highlighting some of these issues that a lot of us probably are not aware of before coming on today's webinar. You know, uh, things like manhole, ICs, VIP, SITs. I hope that you know, knowledge like this that's provided by Esther here today provides you with a lot more information, a lot more knowledge in your selling or buying decisions. So with that, thank you very much Esther for today. And uh, we look forward to seeing you soon in our next webinar. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.